Welcome to the Minute of Strength Kettlebell Sports Series. We are going to up it to the next level. We've got progression, we've got variety, and we've got precision. These are elements and tools that Lisa and I have been using for a number of years here. This is the missing link. This is what's gotten us to the point where we're at naturally. It's an evolution. It's not all about the bell. You can't get here just in the beginning and first and attacking it from there. We've made so many corrections and advancements by using the vintage swing. So we're gonna show you the vintage swing, Lisa. It's bringing this vintage dumbbell right back behind your heels. Nice, stiff, straight arm, driving with the hips and hamstrings, sweeping up, and you've got to stabilize and land that with that range of motion, bringing it back down to the rack, automatically resets the form. Again, drive up. Again, it creates the power that you need from those legs to send a bell up in the air. It's just a different tool. Now, when we progress and we use the thicker grip handle on a kettlebell and going with the fitness bell, the move here is a high pull. Don't know many people that do this, but we've got this in the instructions so that you're gonna get the recruitment further from that vintage swing into the power. And it's not about the arm lifting it. You're pushing that bell with your hips and your hamstrings. Taking some practice with that, coming over to the precision of the competition bell. Now the evolution is there. You can safely and comfortably come up from the legs and land it, release it, take it back with that back swing and use all the linkage in your body. It's been something we've taken our clients through unknowingly. They come in here for fitness. We can get them ready for the pl platform. We're taking them right up there from the type of elements that we use in our training to get them to that. But it doesn't start there. We don't want to injure people. We want to keep them safe. So we provide the necessary components of the technique with an ancient and long lost tool, the vintage dumbbell. It's vital for the training. What it does for grip strength is incredible too. Try these elements, put them into your training, take it back from all of the overuse, and give yourself the variety and see what that does for your numbers and reps. All right guys, this is, this is great. I'm, I'm usually on the other side, I'm usually on this side of the camera, not behind it. Um, it's been so much fun to watch the breakdown of how you guys are showing the progressions in, in something as simple as, as a competition style snatch. And starting with something that we've been doing for years and years and years, we introduced it how many years ago? 2006 maybe, 2007? Look at how you connected these dots for the sport. and. It, where it's just, it resonates with, it's so necessary, it's what's missing, it's going to get rid of overuse injuries, it's going to get rid of, um, you know, people setting themselves up to fail, right? Um, how, how, were we original, how were you originally taught how to, how to do snatches? Oh. Kettlebell. Kettlebell. Ouch. You just do snatches. Throw it up there, right. Mm -hmm. And I, I, I injured myself years ago, I just, I just, over this, getting ready for competition because we didn't have this, we didn't have the information. Um, you know, I look at the two of you, and I don't know if you can tell this on film, but they're extremely petite. They're, this is what a, 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 someone who's in fitness as, as a lifestyle, right, who does this for a better quality of life, even though they're both teachers, this is the byproduct of the training. They're lean, they're thin, they're in shape, they're resilient, they're not injured, and they compete. How many times a year? You guys do like a ton of competition. Yeah, there's, there's quite a few events, and that's one of the things, to be able to get up at it and compared to other people, I'm just, I'm surprised at the breakdown. And now in relationship, this is what we've used. Well, it's 2014, and we're only in, the, in April, and you've done how many competitions so far? Four or five. That's... And, That's a lot. And you're running a business. Right. At least you've got four kids. It's, there's a lot going on here, and you guys still maintain this. It's just amazing to me that all people have to do is take your formula, work it every week, and the byproduct is gonna be something extraordinary, whether they get on the platform or not, but just to, to test themselves and be involved in, in, in a sport that's just exciting to be around. It's just fun to, the workouts are fun. Um, people don't have to get hurt. 
you know, it's just, it's great to see. Now the thing that, that I'm, I, how do I do that high pull? Because I see you, I see you do it and you weren't winded, you were, you talked through the whole thing. How do I do that high pull now? Where well, you're, that information from? That you're going to have to buy the DVD. Oh, there you go. Sure, <laughs> sure All right. So guys, if you have any questions, email these guys, send, it, it, it's amazing. I've watched their clients progress. I've watched them progress over the years. Uh, vital, vital information. The sport is up and coming. The thing's not stopping, right? And it's attracting lots of females. And you guys said it earlier, kids can do this. This can be like the new little league. Right? right. Could be. Lisa's young daughter. Are you getting kids doing it? She's interested in doing it. That's cool. That's very cool. All right. Grab some bells. See you next week.